Hey y'all, grown black folks talk. Uh, all out on the climb again. I wanted to come out of this for kind of calm gray day uh, before turning around and coming off the hill to talk about um, a little bit of a calmer retrospective, but even deeper on this, yesterday's conversation. Let me explain something to you. This is your Sunday lesson on a Saturday. Do you know, and I've done this video before, having to get away from people that practice the way of Cain, do you understand why Cain killed Abel and who moved him to do that? Let me tell you what the context is and then relate it to yesterday's video. The story of Cain and Abel is in Genesis chapter 4. And in Genesis chapter 4, Cain and Abel had come of age and were proposed to offer the correct sacrifices. They knew what the promise was that their mother, her seed, would produce a Messiah. But of course, there's only two grown men in this story. So, And it was assumed that Cain was that man as the firstborn. But as it happened, and it came to following instructions, Abel followed the instruction better. This is recorded throughout the Bible that he brought the appropriate sacrifice. Well, Cain thought that since he was the man, he ought to be able to bring the works of his hand grown from the ground and God should accept that because of who he was. Well, it didn't work out that way. Cain was furious. And God came to him and said, look, sin desires to have you. Later on, as you go through scripture, you'll find out that the same person that moved his parents to be deceived and outright rebel, and his father to outright rebel, had now come and had made his bid for Cain. And Cain did what Esau would say later, and what the Egyptian women who uh, thought that the Hebrew women were having more babies, uh, and of course certain women in the United States, because black and Latino mothers have had and are having more babies, and the Germans in Nazi Germany did, all of these people followed the way of Cain, which is, if we kill the one who is approved, because, you know, Cain felt entitled, if I kill the brother who feels who is being approved while I'm not, then I will inherit what I'm supposed to get because there's no one left. Racism in the United States post-1865 falls down this way too. Especially afterwards. Um, as I was reminded yesterday, the Ku Klux Klan became bigger after in the 20th century than it ever was in the 21st and you have to account for the fact that uh, the sons of men who had been slave owners watched their fathers lose everything remembered their standard of living and decided not that 30 to 60 years was enough for them to develop skills and how to prosper in the new century but that it was still black people's fault and that they had to be controlled and then the Ku Klux Klan picked up uh, going after immigrants who had not even been here long enough to cause any kind of real trouble and that has sort of been the double tier of people who do not know how to operate the 20th or the 21st but think if they can just turn the clock back to the 19th century with all this horrific brutality against women all this horrific brutality against black people Asian people, Native people, Latino people, then somehow they would be all right because they're entitled. That's the way of Cain. That's also the way of Anton, Adagon, and Cynthia. If we can just remove the other side of the black race, then we will have what we are entitled to. Let me tell you a little bit of something about prosperity. You need four ingredients to prosperity. The first one is peace. Because peace allows people to bring their diverse perspectives together. No single individual at 8 billion is sufficient for everything they need to know to be prosperous. Peace allows people to sit down and bring their genius together and allows for collaboration. You must have persistence because unlike what many of you have been taught, many of you have been taught that it's all about your dreams and you can make those dreams manifest and because you will never create a world out of nothing, that is a lie that many of you have believed. In the same way, many of you women who listen to me feel like you have been propagandized by both Democrats and Republicans, that your lot, if you have another child, is to be poor and to be in poverty and your grandma went through that and you don't want that, so then you're going to swing on over to your Democrat side and do genocide upon your own lineage. The two of them combining are still carrying out Margaret Sanger's program. And you, I already told y'all yesterday who your ideological big uncle is, right? 
Margaret Sanger's program is Nazi Germany's program, is Planned Parenthood's program. I don't care what they say. When y'all can bring me data that the best, that there are as many Planned Parenthoods in rich neighborhoods as there are in poor neighborhoods, then I will hear you on their having addressed their founder. No, no, no. Repentance, turning away from evil works to do good, helping women who are poor find access points in this economy to get out of poverty. All Democrats are failing on this in terms of the party. They're not interested in you having that. Republicans aren't interested in you having that. Why? Because you are living in a culture that loves the way of Cain. But to have prosperity, you must have peace so you can have collaboration. You must have persistence and hard work because you ain't gonna manifest nothing in that sense, sitting there. And you must have opportunity. You must be looking at the correct opportunity at the correct time. This is how you get prosperity. There is no other path. And people who walk around thinking that they're entitled will always find a way to either get over themselves or eliminate someone that they think is getting what they should have so that they can just sit there and inherit. And this is the problem that has black people having public representatives out here talking about if we can just cut down the number of us by half, then we'll get everything that's left. Tell me how this is supposed to work when even if this was even contemplated, the United States has enough prisons to put anybody who was going to do that. And people who build those prisons who were put in, unfortunately, they have peace among themselves as it regards us not doing well. They have collaboration among themselves, global white supremacy. Look it up sometimes. Uh, they have persistence. We have persisted in this since the Greeks and the Romans, 2,500 years <laughs> they definitely have hard work. Uh, they have assured that the cult their cultures come late into the scripture, into prophecy, and that they will leave without having a single cultural representative that, in terms of their nations, that survives in a prominent place. Y'all can read the book of Daniel for that to find out what happens to the whole Greco-Roman system, what its final abomination is, and what happens to it. And all the other powers will be rolled up in that to the extent that they have rolled into that system. But that's some persistence. When Jesus himself has to come and deal with you, you've done your work too. But for all of you who want to go along with this, all of you who want to find your place to then do that to someone you think is weaker than you, I need you to understand that you have now acceded to the way of Cain. You have now decided to go along with Satan. I get this question a lot. All Christians do. You know, why would God have an eternal hell? Well, eternal hell was not made for human beings. It's made for the devil and his angels. But if you decide to adopt de devilish, demonic doctrines, you know what that attitude is going to put you, right? Well, your soul has been qualified to be. Uh, there is a prominent figure. And the sphere which he was popular in that I'm going to get to next week uh, because of what it has done to itself since May 5th 2022 and we're basically going to have the same conversation about the way of Cain again and how that's going to have you out here looking stupid with a new mistress you going to turn in your father for Miss Scarlet wearing pearls and you expect to be respected by anyone, given that other people know the history of this country and they have, may have read they were her property about the legacy of white women and their slaves and what white women without white men over them did to those slaves. But you're going to be respected in the manosphere. And this is your decision. But that's going to wait till next week. The reason that we get into these corners is because we get to the way of Cain. We feel entitled. We don't want to do the work. We don't want to learn how to be peaceful. We don't want to learn about from, learn from people with different perspectives. We don't want to persist. We don't want to put in the work. And we don't want to consider maybe the dream that I have, maybe this is not the right opportunity for that. Maybe I should reconsider and do what is in front of me right now. We don't want to do that. So then we're going to go with Anthony and Anton, Adagon, Forrest, uh, Adagon, we're going to go with Anton, Adagon, Cynthia, Margaret, and Adolph. Instead, for all you to support that, th that, that's the road you want. You're doing it to yourself, and you'll be led to do it to people around you. And like I said, this is your Sunday lesson on Saturday.
I did it in this beautiful, calm place. Because I did not intend to address this again, but the spirit said, no, they need to understand what spirit that they're of if they follow in this. Cain was cursed. His lineage is wiped. People talk about, why did he do the flood? Cain's lineage is wiped out by Genesis 7. There is not a single person of kinetic line left in the world. That a whole part of the human race was gone. When the Bible says the imagination of man was evil continually, Noah was the son of Seth. The child born after Cain and Abel have left the scene. Only Seth's line has produced the entire human race. Eve is the mother through Seth. And if you follow Seth's line down and you get through Shem and you get through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and you follow it down to the family of Nathan, but you got to understand, not Solomon, because Solomon's going to be out here doing what he was told not to do, having them thousand wives. He gets knocked out of the line of the Messiah, but Bathsheba, who didn't ask to be in her situation with David, her second son, then we got to find Nathan. And if you go down and find a daughter of Nathan named Mary with a husband, to be named Joseph, you're at Christmas time. Cain, Ahab, we're gonna do that story. <laughs> you know, y'all know Ahab and Jezebel. Ahab, Solomon are knocked out. Because it was clear what they needed to do, they refused to do it. They were told what they were in, they refused to listen. They got knocked out of all the peace and prosperity that's gonna come because of that son of Mary the son of Nathan, the son of David, the son of Abraham, the son of Shem, the son of Noah's wife, the son of Seth, I've, I've skipped some generation, the son of Eve, the, also, also the son of Adam. We just don't mention the women as often, but they're important. They're going to miss out. It was available to everybody. It's available to you. I'm going to say it again. Peace, collaboration, persistence, hard work, and meeting the opportunities that are available to you. If you're listening to me, you can figure out how to make ChatGPT work for you. If you're listening to me, you can go on my crypto journey and learn how to get your own crypto sweat equity before this market turns around and starts going up again. You have all the opportunity, and there's much, much more, because I'm not a techie person. There's much, much more available to you. But this is up to you. To stop pointing fingers, stop following people that are pointing fingers, and go do what you're meant to do. Now, the other side of the way of Cain is, you gonna, some of you, I keep telling y'all, get saved. Because you're going to roll up on God someday talking about, well, I did what she told me. I got my life together. I don't know you, sir or madam, because you did not come the way that I said. The problem with Cain was that I told Abel to give a sacrifice uh, because I promised to represent that one that was coming to save humanity and uh, you decided to do it your way just like Cain did. That's the other side of the way of Cain. I know y'all don't want to hear that, but I gotta be, I gotta refer Jesus Christ correctly. You need to know that. But let's bring it back to the temporal and the general. I have told you now how to be prosperous. You can keep on pointing fingers and blaming your, your counterparts in the black community if you want to. You will never say that someone did not explain it to you from earth to heaven. That that ain't the way. You will never say from earth to heaven that someone did not bother to stop on the side of a hill to make doubly sure that you have it, to understand you have a choice. You can stop externalizing what happens to you on everybody else. You can get out of Adolf Hitler's camp. You can get out of Margaret Sanger's camp. You can get out of Anton, Adegan, and Cynthia's camp. Or you can stay there and face their destruction. You can choose your delusions. You can choose your trauma. You can choose your refusal to take responsibility for your life and have create a hell around you and then go to the everlasting fire. You can do that. It's your decision, as always. Thank you for listening. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye. Next week, we're going to talk about how to snatch so many edges, but still living in the same community. I might show up bald next week. We'll find out. Y'all have a good day now. Bye.